The weaves of Gujarat exemplify the vibrant colors and cultural authenticity of the state. The rich and diversified traditional designs of the Gujarat sarees illustrate the charms and the contagious energy of the state. Namaskar Adab Sastriyakal Hello friends, welcome to my channel, My Inspiring Thoughts. The essence of my channel is to give you glimpses of the vast landscape of Indian culture and the richness of its heritage and traditions. I'm equally eager to ignite curiosity about Indian culture in young minds and people from all over the world. After taking you through the various facets of the art and cultural landscape of India, let me give you an overview of the Saris of India. Walk along my cultural journey to the Sari Yatra, an exploration of the history and significance of saris in the Indian context. Hey, if you are new to my channel and you haven't clicked the subscribe button yet, just do that and hit the bell icon so that you can get to be part of the exciting and diverse Indian cultural journey. The traditional saris of India represent the diversity and culture in all the regions of India. With each sari, a story and history is attached, signifying traditional knowledge, geographical details, complex and skilled weaving themes and styling. Are you aware? There are more than 70 types of saris and dozens of different ways to drape them, depending on the region, the fabric type, climate and the occasion. Let's get to know about these different varieties of saris from the state of Gujarat. Patola saris of Gujarat are one of the most popular sari types which are known for the ikat technique used to dye the color onto the fabric and for the intricate designs and patterns as well as bright and vibrant colors that are featured all over the sari. The common motifs feature parrots, flowers, elephants, dancing figures and geometric designs. Depending on the pattern of weaving, there are two types of patola saris. Rajkot patola, which is a single ikat and vertically recessed diet, whereas patan patola is a double ikat pattern and horizontally recessed diet. Did you know a patola sari roughly requires four to six months to be completed? Thus, this sari is considered to be a work of art and a masterpiece, which also makes it quite expensive. The Garchola sari has its origin in the Kambat region of Gujarat. It is a silk sari of the ancient and intricate art of weaving and dyeing with checks, stripes and designs and one of the most well-known Gujarati traditional saris. This is the perfect wedding sari made with skilled craftsmanship featuring bright bridal colors such as maroon, red and green. Interestingly, it is believed that the Garchola sari is gifted to the bride by her in-laws to wear at the end of the wedding as part of the Wedding ceremony. Contrary to the Garchola sari, the Panitir silk saris are gifted to the brides by their maternal uncles. The bride wears this traditional cream or white with red colored sari at the beginning of the wedding rituals. The Panitir sari is a silk sari adorned with zari work motifs and embroidery which symbolizes both grace and purity. The pallu has intricate designs that features different creative patterns and motifs to amplify the beauty of the sari. Bandhani sari originated in Gujarat around 5000 years ago by the Khatri community. The term Bandhani is derived from the word Bandhan that means tying up. The tie-dye technique is used to create varied colorful bandhani saris which have patterns such as waves, stripes, dots and squares. 
It is a resist dyeing process where the fabric is pinched and tied with threads before it is dyed. These saris are also well known for using a variety of fabrics such as silk, cotton, malmal, gorget and chiffon. There are different between bandhani and shibori saris is in the colors. The bandhani has vibrant hues whereas shibori has subtle shades. Ajrak print saris are characterized by block printing on both sides by resist printing method. The prints include bold geometric repeats in combinations of center field and border designs. Traditionally, these symmetrical patterns are printed and dyed in natural colors. The names of some of these motifs are Amri Mohar, Suraj Mukhi, Kakar and Minkudi. These saris are usually made of cotton, silk, cotton silk blends, viscose fabrics. Kachwak embroidery is usually crafted on cotton or silk fabric. Silk or woolen thread is used with fine stitches to create detailed and elaborate patterns. Motives and designs draw inspiration from romantic architectural themes. The mirrors, shells and beads further beautify this traditional piece of artwork. Ari stitch is a continuous fine chain stitch embroidery. The embroidery is done with an ari which is a needle with a hook. This embroidery is done on any kind of fabric. It features natural motifs like flowers, leaves, vines, trees and birds. Ashwali silk sari originated in Ahmedabad and features intricate brocade weaving work known as skin cup made with using metallic gold and silver threads known as zari. The weavers include motifs of birds, animals and flowers. Ashwani saris are distinguished by the enameled look of the border. Bujhodi Kala cotton saris are hand woven and are colored with natural dyes. The speciality is that the cotton used in an organic cotton that is indigenous to the Kutch region. It is purely a rain fed crop as the Kala Cotton Initiative encourages sustainable cotton textile production in harmony with the local ecology. Rogan painting is an art of cloth printing practiced in Gujarat. In this craft, paint made from boiled castor oil or linseed oil and vegetable dyes is laid down on fabric using a stylus. This gives the print an elevated appearance. The designs of Rogan Prince saris are largely inspired by the Persian motifs where geometric patterns and floral motifs are commonly used. The popular type of embroidery on saris is Suf of the Kutch district of Gujarat. In this embroidery, there is no need of drawing an outline as the artisans executed by careful counting of the warp and weft. Hand embroidery is done on the reverse side of the cloth and the motifs are displayed when turned over. The designs are geometric, symmetrical and exceptionally intricate. For most Indian women like me, the sari is not just another attire but an extension of my personality. So the next time you wear a sari like I do, just live the rich lineage that unfolds as you wear it. Remember, you're wearing a piece of garment that has lived through centuries. Now that you have been a great audience to this overview of some of the finer aspects of the sari yatra, the journey of saris, I'm sure the next time you come across any of the above types of saris, you will really appreciate the nuances. Namaskar till we meet again in the next episode of Sari Yatra, my cultural journey of Indian saris.